Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Tales of Bursaria. Today, Benwick, let's set sail. Uh, we don't have that many places to go. Alright, to Mount Killer Ass, let's do it. Actually, we're going to Hell of Ease. But, you know, Mount Killer Ass, Hell of Ease. I need to stock up on life bottles. How very leisurely you're lounging. Though unsafely, you don't want to fall into the ocean. That is a nice view, though. Bye, Sylph J. Thing. I see. Or a calcum or not, Stormquell snapped like a twig. It was a I god! Think so. It was Inominat who did it. But I think Shigure could have done the same. So hardness alone isn't enough. Forgive me. I thought I had found clarity, but it was only foolish pride. You should be proud. You are without a doubt the greatest swordsmith in the world. I'm looking forward to your next blade. Even now, you would still place your trust in me. You're literally the only smith we have. Is there any other swordsmith who could craft a blade out of Orichalcum? You're a master of your art. A visionary who spent centuries working to forge a blade of legend. I'm honored to know you. I don't know what to say. Thank you? Unless, of course, you've given up on making a sword to surpass Stormhowl. <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man who's given up? You don't have a head again. Not in the least. <laughs> We're making good time. The only problem is that ceremony that Artorius was going on about. We don't know how long it'll take. Eifried said they called it the Ceremony of Suppression. Which is a worrying name. Most likely. It's how Inominat plans to release his power. Most likely. He hasn't absorbed Lafayette in your despair, so we know me not should still be incomplete. But if his powers fully awaken, humanity will be robbed of their free will. I can hear them celebrating now. The uglinesses of the human soul are suppressed. Yay! No more demons. And the world is free of malevolence. Hurrah! Hurrah! Robbing humanity of its will. They'll be like I once was. Uh, something's coming! Fade the black? No. Oh, anime cutscene! Don't start skipping, I swear to God. We only had that once. Is that the Sylph J? You do not look like a pigeon. No, that's not. Is that the Sylph J? Is that a barrier? Or is that suppression? Yay, puppets! Hey, uh, please guys, let's not fight! <laughs> Yeah, that seems about right. Good job, Anominat! Making the world a better place. We should probably not be in it, though. This is a domain? Anominat's domain! Uh, uh. I'm guessing the humans are fucked. Their wills have been stolen. It's not been fully sealed away yet. Rokuro, give him a good smacking. Wake him up. On it. That's gonna work against a god's Eisen. domain. Got it. We'll put in at the nearest harbor. To Port Zexon. Hmm. 
So is this worldwide? I'm assuming this is worldwide. Ah, uh, I feel like some jerk played tug of war with my brain. Dig up some spirit. They're trying to strip away your will. Oh no! Yeah, that's a proper reaction to this, I think. Look, it's that merchant. You're all right. Uh, I think he's a robot now. I do not deserve to be all right. Fair enough. I used people, stepped on them just to make a profit. I even aided wanted criminals so that I could expand my business. Yeah, you're a dick. My soul is black with ugliness and can never oh, it's be getting forgiven. dark. Do it. Huh? No, wait. Stop. Push him. The world em. needs oh. to be purified of malevolence. I don't belong here. I have to die. How are you having die. a hard time restraining him, Eleanor? Do you know how strong no, you are? It's not Oh. Nice punch. Throw him in the water. You can die if you want, but saying you have to die is a good way to make my blood boil. Those awakened to their own malevolence seek to end their lives. Welcome to Artorius's uncompromising world of reason. First they steal humanity's rudder, and now they want to say who lives and who dies? Who do they think they are? Gods? We should find out what's happening here, unless you'd rather not see. You're right, I wouldn't. But I won't hide from the truth any longer. Before anything else, we'll need to confirm just how far his power reaches. Let's head to Logris. Are the... So, I'm glad to see that Magalu and Ellen are all right. Shouldn't, like, the domain also affect demons and... So this is the result of their ceremony Malachim? of suppression. Seems that way. They've brought their peace to mankind. Yeah, but you being said that, like, should we just leave these guys here? So we get two skits. Three skits. <laughs> One, two, three skits! <laughs> Let's go over here first. Hello. I was a fool for trying to sell commemorative chalices to the people visiting the Imperial. Mm, I remember that. Happiness can't be bought with ill-gotten gains made. I mean, yes, it can, but in an effort to change we'll my ignore that ways, logic. I sold my shop and entered the holy priesthood. Rather than pursue my own greed, I've chosen to dedicate my life to bringing the sacred teachings to all. Wow! Look how shiny and pure he is. So this is what happens when Enominot suppresses all of someone's sins and desires. How nauseating! And this is the kind of world they're trying to create. I mean, yeah. But who are you like gonna gonna teach? Wait, what was that? Dispel doubt and confusion. Obey reason. You are a vessel for serving that the many. Yes, unaware as a meluk, mumble mumble. What? Yeah. Anyways, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, he's gonna like, become a priest and become like a teacher of the scripts and everything like that. But since they're all under like control, do anyone need to be taught like anything? I assume no. But let's watch you a skit. Suppression. Is this the ideal world the Abbey envisions? Bien! There's no life in anyone's eyes. This isn't a fun place at all. It's not just people's minds being shackled. They're being forced to die, too. It's terrible. Why would dying be part of anyone's ideal world? Even under such strict control, new sins can still rise to the surface. If that happens, it's better to end the life of the sinner. Melchior came to the same logical conclusion. What utter rubbish. Anyway. We need to get to Logris. Yeah, we will, eventually, after all these skits. What's going to happen to the world? How far will Anominot's power spread? When his domain expanded, I felt a faraway power suddenly come closer. What that it mean? It was enough to blot out the whole sky. I'm sure it's covered other towns, too. 
His domain has certainly extended to at least the entire populace of this country. Otherwise, what would be the point? That means what happened at Port Zexen is happening everywhere. Everyone is either a puppet or... Dead by their own hands. Inominat created this ideal hell in a single moment. That's the power we're up against. So we few are standing against a truly monumental force. This is your last chance to turn back. Turn back to what exactly? Forward or back, we're headed into hell either way. At least this way, I'll have my own free will. Which I is something I want to ask. Like, oblivion. how well, are we not affected by this? Let's move along then. I get, I get, Lofty said because it's a fragment of an omen on. Which is also something I want to talk about in a second. But how are Eleanor, Magilu, they're human. They're strong. You know, they're strong, resonant humans. But they're human. Shouldn't there be some effect on them? Velvet, Roku, they're demons. Isn't, like, the whole point of this suppression to, like, rid the world of their kind for the most part? And then there's Aizen and, like, Bienfu. They're Malakim. Shouldn't they be under control as well? Because they said the Malakim serve the Apirians. I, I don't know. Probably explain later, maybe, or maybe not. Uh, Skit? Hey, you're Kakiku's menagerie. Ooh, close. It's Magilu's menagerie. I apologize for always demanding that you entertain me, despite my inability to even remember your name correctly. I'm also sorry to you, miss, for always insisting you do that tedious little bird impression of yours. I feel so bad I could just punch myself. Nay, I must. D go I'm for it. I'm not sure if I'm more angry or confused. It is wrong to seek pleasure from viewing petty tricks and pointless entertainment. Honest hard work say that alone is right. Me. Someone such as I, who was unable to live in accordance to the simplest of truths, should disappear from this earth. Please, use that special trick you told me of. Make me disappear forever. Get the claw out. He wants to disappear. All right, let's uh, let's talk about... Oh, let's view this skit first, and then we'll start talking about... Uh, da -da 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 said. First, I took nectar to escape all my hardships. Mm, druggy. And I drank to run from all my pain. Mm, alcoholic. Even if I resisted, endured the pain, nothing changed. I've spent my life running. I'm pathetic, but I won't run anymore. I'm disposing of all the drinks in town. What the world needs now isn't dependence, but freedom. And I'll see that we have But it. moderation and, uh, helps. That's the kind of repentance that should only come the morning after a night of fun and too much drink. And if you're afraid of losing yourself, drinking is a far better option than falling under Enominot's control. Yeah, maybe, depending on how much he drinks and if he lives through it. Those usually have a estimated point if they have a skit. How we doing? No more skits? All right, so, Lavi sets a fragment of Anomonot. Anomonot. So, Anomonot. Yes? Okay. So, I get that, but I think I missed the part where Anomonot actually has to eat Lavi set? Also, these are old enemies. Like, I knew he said he was going to devour Lavi set. But I thought he was just doing that because, well, he's a dick. Um, not that he needed to. And then I think it was—I think it was like Ifrid said that he needs to absorb. It. Hey, Skits. Hello. We must accept that we all grow old. I will never I can accept that. no longer that. perform the physical labor that allowed me to benefit society. I no longer deserve to live here. Okay, that's I must kind find of fucked a place up. Far from others. There, I will await a quiet death. This isn't someone accepting that they'll grow old. This is him refusing to grow old. If this spreads, we'll have no more old people at all. So we should wait a bit. No, no, that's mean. People can grow old and retire or take less physical labor jobs and still be a benefit to society. Yeah, but like the whole, uh, this sound really Pets fucked up. Consume precious resources After the skit, though. and grant no tangible benefit to society. That's why I say we should throw them all back outside. No? It's only right. I threw away my friend's entire pet beetle collection. 
They have been purged. You're a dick. This is all for the new order. Stab the little girl. I want to keep my rhino stag rose. Stab the bald man as well. You don't get rid of pets. You sack of shit. Oh, velvet. Take out the claw and eat these fuckers. Alright. Well, that actually infuriates me. But, I was gonna say, like... Now that I know they're getting rid of pets, I'm, I'm not gonna actually be serious about it. But they were saying how people with malevolence that know they're malevolent and could be, like, a potential threat in the future are taking their own lives. Part of me goes, okay, so... The source of demons is killing itself before they become demons. That's not That's not a like a that's not like a good hero way to take care of a problem. We're not good heroes though. I was gonna say, man, why don't we just wait a little bit <laughs> until those malevolent guys kill themselves and then we don't have to worry about demons for the most part. And I don't think the group's really actually concerned about that. But since they're killing fucking or getting rid of pets, I hope they're not killing pets, because that's ooh, 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 I will burn this place to the ground! There's a skit here. It was the height of foolishness for a lowborn person like me to hold on to romantic fantasies about Prince Percival. Yeah? I should seek a male companion suitable to my social status and live a life free of pointless desire and pride. Form, beauty, appearance, all are superfluous. Reason dictates that I seek a biological partner. Who lets me live my life with greater efficiency. This is true, now, what love. What she's saying isn't technically wrong. It really, really creeps me out. I'm glad you said it wasn't technically wrong. But I was making a joke, so... <laughs> Who, who's the real bad person here, Eleanor? Me or you? So we get one and one in the tavern, I think it said. And then the star. I don't feel like we should watch... Oh, Percival is at the palace, isn't he? Even the capital is suffering oh, his death. You know me not's power God did all of this. A god among gods. He's still selling weapons over here? I've been tasked with buying, selling, and dismantling, and enchanting weapons and armor. How am I serve you? So I take that as a yes. You have a new stock. Topaz doll. I cannot afford that. Still, which is summertime waistcoat. Do I have any stuff to sell? I'm gonna assume, yeah. Is this is the trash. This is the food. Yeah, I mean, I have some stuff. Not a lot, though. Oh, well. Let's go check out this skit. Are you guys drowning yourselves in the fountain? Purely decorative and serve no purpose to the collective good of mankind. They must be purged. Not just the fountains. The streets and houses are filled with unnecessary extravagances. Comfort is another word for vanity. It is a lie that breeds only envy and war. All vanity must be purged. Yes. We cannot let ourselves be ruled by desire. Speak for yourself. We must control ourselves and lead lives of purity. Oh, that sounds boring. If they keep abandoning desire after desire, eventually they'll abandon even their desire to live. I mean, that that would probably not be a good thing. Maybe, probably. Oh, Mr. No, I want... Get out. Out. Thank you. I'm having trouble with my controller, apparently. Tavern. This is the tavern, right? Is that an old blood-winged person in here? I knew it. I said all along that taverns are dens of evil. Now there is no one left who desires that demon drink. It clouds man's judgment and causes good people to fall into corruption and sin. It should never have existed. Taverns shall now only live on in history books. I've always opposed the sale of nectar and intoxicating drinks. From now on, those places once known as taverns should be used to distribute food equally to all. Flavor is irrelevant. It is enough for food to fill the stomach and contain the nutrients necessary all for survival. Alright, we need to fix this. <laughs> food is not something that should be enjoyed. Look. But eating is part of being alive. If you can't enjoy your food, how can you enjoy your life? Okay, well, obviously, there, there are other things to enjoy like in that. life. I mean, food is important, though. The nectar thing, that's a drug, right? 
tone to tone, but ah, uh, oh, forgive me. Where is Tabitha? All right, you go kill yourself. Have fun with that. Uh, is that it for the skits? That's it for the skits. Let's go see the star. I don't know why I was sort of breaking out in the song there. It's been a long day. So I guess that's the reason. I thought Velvet was floating in the air. Isn't there anyone here who still has free thought? I hope so. There has to be. So I'm assuming they have to have like strong will, because like the pirates weren't completely taken over, they were being taken over. Mommy! That was a child. Mommy! Oh, is that Percival? Oh, that's Tabitha. I'm Mommy! <laughs> Don't show any feelings, dear. If they spot you, they'll... Hello, winged angel ladies. How are you doing today? I'm a robot. Are you? Prince Percival! Tabitha! You're still you! Hi, minion of prophecy. I really like this music, actually. That's, like, really good. All the music Demons? in this game is really good. This is a demon? It looks more like a seraphim, uh, Malachim to me. Winged. Winged. This fiend. Blinding Frost, we actually have a fiend ability now, huh? Winged. Grounding Strike. Is this a hidden art? It's a hidden art. We want a martial art first. Oh, we have Infernal Torrent, huh? That's a fiend one. Wind. In the capital? Winged armor. No. Oh, you're gonna do jump against me? What a dick. I don't think we have any other armor other than the uh, Megasonic Thrust. Yes. So we'll do uh, Infernal Torrent. Then Blinding Frost. And then Megasonic the Hedgehog. I think Velvet just said it's a Molecule. You can tell by the mask. That's a dope move. I don't know why I said a move, but it's a dope move. I like all of this. We're beating the shit out of this angel lady. I won't improve by fighting. I guess he is just the normal enemy, but still. What happened to the other two? Tabitha, your mind's still your own? Yes, somehow. But Prince Percival and that girl. Looks oh, like they took the goddamn. Uh, why didn't we go after the all of them? trying to help us get away. He said that the Abbey was gathering those who still had control of their own will at the villa. We need to go after the prince and see just what's going on at the villa. We don't know what sort of defenses they have at the front gate. Let's sneak in through the back. Good plan. Back into the catacombs then. Oh, I can get that cat chest. I remember that one. Expedition has occurred. Velvet has learned earned a cooking level. Good for you. Uh, expedition. Hey, we got something new. All right, that should be it for that. Check. Yeah, Tipo Islands. Hi, Tab. How's it going? They're gathering anyone with whose emotions are still attack at the Royal Villa. Bet Prince Percival and the girl were taken there because we didn't fight all three of them at once. Because we're a giant. Well, we're not assholes. Well, okay, no, we are. We are. But. We could have totally taken all three of them. Did you see what I was doing to that one angel with my abilities? I was ruining her existence. Which is going to happen to the rest of them when I get a hold of them next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head to my video section, check out some other content, and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.